What's good everybody, this is Silas from silasbeats.info. Um, today I'm just going to be profiling my studio real quick. It's just going to be a brief overview. Um, a couple of people have asked me what type of equipment I use, what I do, what, you know, the different things that I do in studio. So I'm just going to take you through it. Um, I'm going to be in the studio for about another month more. Uh, and then I'm going to be moving to another area and obviously I'll set up the studio differently. But yeah, for the most part, I'll just take you through what's there now. And the studio will probably be the same, but it might change a little bit in about a month from now. So um, if you just have a look, like it is quite, it's, it's quite like compact. It's a little bit compact. Um, I think the dimensions are like two meters by three meters. It, no, I lie. It might even be a little bit less than that. Um, yeah, this used to be a storeroom. We just kept all of our stuff in here. What I then did um, in 2015 is I just shifted everything from here through into here uh, just to get some space. And the only thing I kept were the, the beds along the wall that you can see there. Uh, people that come through to the studio quite often will know that the beds started in that corner and actually ended up all the way to this end here. Um, but recently I just made a couple of changes just to accommodate like instruments and random garbage there in that corner. Yeah, so just to get to the equipment, let's get straight to it. Um, these are my monitors. These guys are my Yamahas, my HS5s. HS5 inches. They are the second set of monitors I've ever owned. The first set were um, pre-Sonus, Aeros 5s. Um, I got them as a recommendation at the music shop. They served me really, really well. I think it was for two years two and a half years, they served me really, really, really well. Um, from there, I sold those off. I, I just, the thing is, I was doing a lot of work with Jay Lawless at the time, and he had these, and I trusted them so much, so I decided to get myself a set. Um, HS5s, those plug into the Samsung, the UR242. That's my audio interface. Very solid, you can actually hear that. It's got like a, I think it's a steel finish. It's a metal finish, basically. It's very, very durable. Um, I don't travel much, so it stays in here, but it really it gives it just a nice, just a nice finish like that. Um, yeah, so that's Steinberg. Uh, just behind you, just to work, just to show you the workflow. Cabling comes from the computer, which sits under there and comes across to this side of the room. Up here to my uh, microphone. It sits on a everyday kind of rickety, actually, um, uh, mic stand. Uh, the microphone, the microphone I've got here is the um, the SE 2200. This here I also got on recommendation as well. It is super solid. It gives me the, I think probably there may be two or three other mics that my friends own that give me better, that have given me better quality than what I get out of this guy here. So, yeah this I trust and when you buy it just for anybody looking to buy I, I actually I really do recommend that you get an SE mic um, and I wasn't I wasn't paid to say that but I really do recommend you get an SE mic there are a lot of different versions this is just one of the different versions that you can get um, the thing about it is that it's it I don't know like it it just it pulls in the best when it comes to all the mics that I've ever used it, it is one of the ones that pull in the best um, audio uh, this guy is unidirectional, i.e. it's only going to pick up from that side there, which is better. I know some people want to get um, mics that are like omnidirectional and whatnot, and I just find that that is a little bit... Uh, maybe there's a use for it, maybe I don't know. But yeah, that, um, it came through the shock mount, it came with the pop filter. Uh, I know some mics don't come through the pop filter, so this is a little bit of a saving over here. This I picked up from an artist. He was recording at some stage and then he gave up, he's like, I'm done. And yeah, then I, I picked that up from him. Um, I think at some stage, I think I'll make another video, but I'll talk about the prices of everything. Um, headphones I use are the Beats. I tend to enjoy using Beats because it makes people sound like, it really colors what people are hearing. So when they are singing or rapping, they just get, they, it helps them to feel a little bit better um, because they get to hear themselves um, not the raw, not the complete raw version of themselves. Um, I never use those for mixing. Don't use things like these for mixing. They're great to listen to music through, but don't use them for mixing. You'll get, you, it'll not lie to you, basically. Um, what else do we have here? Okay, we've got the graphite, um, the 49 key. I'm not a keyboardist or a pianist or anything. Uh, I can play with two hands. They, it 
it's great. I'm able to like, develop full chords with both my hands. So that's why I need this. This is like minimum. Um, I think before this I had a, an Eddie Roll. Eddie Roll, who is this guy? Anyway, I had that little silver guy and I used that. I upgraded, when I upgraded the HS5s, I started using this here as well. I bought this as part of the package. Um, 49 key, it's got all the funny, like the bells and whistles, it's got all the little faders and whatnot, and all the little knobs and all the little stuff. I don't use a lot of that. I also don't use the drum pad. I prefer, I'm a keyboard guy, I prefer hitting um, the piano notes as opposed to the drum pad. I'd rather buy an actual drum pad for that. Um, yeah, it's got all the different mod, uh, the mod wheels and all the pitch bends and everything, which is great. Um, yeah, I think that's everything on the table. Standard screen, nothing too special about that. PCs. My PC, um, I got this guy, let's just move the chair so you can see. Um, my, P my PC uh, got at the end of last year. So I've had it for maybe eight months now. Was it last year? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it was last year. I got it at the end of last year and I needed it because what I was doing on the laptop, the laptop was dying. It was, um, 2012 uh, laptop and like it obviously runs all these programs so it, it doesn't it's not gonna live forever so I got this guy here it's um, processor i7 if I remember correctly I think that was one of the reasons why I picked it um, ProLine it's a ProLine computer um, that guy cost me about was it about 15k got 8 gigs of RAM I'm actually planning on going up to 8, um, to 16 uh, I get an opportunity to. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much all the stuff that's there covered. And obviously when you buy some of this stuff, it comes with software, which is an added bonus because then you get legitimate stuff, which is great. Um, you get to use some legitimate software. And as you can see over here, I've got a random pair of headphones and I am, I'm able to monitor what people are recording. Um, in a lot of bedroom studios, people just have a set for the artist, which is the most important thing. But I have a little splitter here that I bought at the shop. Um, not the best thing to do. I'm actually in the process of getting another, um, getting an actual splitter, but I'm able to go big to small, get the splitter, and then this yellow guy goes to the beats, and then this one here is for um, my headphones here, so we can both monitor what's going on. Uh, over to this side, some really random equipment here that I use. I just bash on everything when I'm making beats. Oh, snap. Rest in peace to my old beats. They just chill there, old museum. Um, drums, so I got from a drummer um, back in, when I was in high school. Guy was like crazy. He used to break his drumsticks all the time. So the one time he made it through the concert without having broken his drumsticks. I was like, dude, can I have your drumsticks? He was like, yeah, dude. He, was, he probably thought he was going to break them. So he handed those to me and I use those. I just bash on, I, on, on this here. Um, the drums I got in Kenya uh, when I went to my sister's wedding. Picked those up for real cheap. I've been using those on all my beats. Um, use this guy as well. Also got that in Kenya. Uh, this I picked up in Melville, I think it was. Some dude was like, he was walking up and down the street and he was like bashing. He was bashing on this thing. And he was, what was he doing? He was like, he was just like hitting it and he was creating rhythms with it. And I was like, I want that. My girlfriend tried to stop me. And then she bought it for me. And then I made some beats and I sold them and then I felt better and then she felt better. So it wasn't that bad of an investment. Um, tripod, okay, yeah. Then obviously there's the violin. That I think is where it all began. Um, this isn't the very first violin I got. The first one I got was in grade three. Um, I've been playing violin since grade three, on and off, like hectically on and off. Um, I don't play that much anymore and this is a specific thing that I want from it. Um, yeah, I think this is my third or fourth violin since that time. And yeah, I mean, I, I really, I really don't enjoy playing it. It really is garbage. Um, I don't know, maybe I should open it real quick. Never really open it. Just so you can see. That I, it's not just an empty box, kind of is a violin, it's just, it's in bad shape, like, I haven't been taking care of it. Every now and again, whenever I open it, I just tune it for the day, and then it remains tuned for 
<laughs> the rest of that day, then I put it away. So yeah, there it is. Very standard, nothing too special about it. Helps me from time to time to create beats. And yeah, it's it paid itself back, basically. So I don't feel bad for having it. Um, yeah, that's basically the studio. So I think like if there's any like specifics that you might want me to go through with regards to what's going on here, um, I can do that. Uh, as I said earlier, I think I'll make another video where I like go through prices and stuff. Or yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do in terms of the video. But for the most part, this is my studio.